Welcome back to News Nation Prime. 250,000, that is how many unsolved murders or cold cases the Department of Justice estimates there are right now in the U.S. Experts call this a crisis, not only because these unsolved violent crimes cost a lot of money and manpower, but according to the National Institute of Justice, violent offenders will likely repeat, meaning that there are killers on the loose until these cases are solved. Alex Barber and his team want to crack these cases one by one. This year, he founded Cold Case Consultants of America, and Alex is here with us live tonight. Uh, we appreciate your time and your important mission. Uh, solving a cold case is not impossible, but it is improbable. So 1% it's estimated of cold cases ever get solved. What's your strategy to change that? Well, we try to get down to the basics when we open up a case. Uh, we try to find the initial evidence uh, get down to the facts, speak with the initial investigators if they're still available, and speak with some of the victims' families and witnesses if, we're, if they're available also. Why do cases go cold, in your opinion? Typically, it's because there's not enough annual funding for the agencies that initially worked the case. Only 7% of all agencies, which are 19,000 and above uh, nationwide, have a cold case squad. I want to talk to you about one cold case that you're working on that caught our attention. It is from the 1940s, so we're talking 80 years ago plus, Chicago's lipstick killer. Tell us about this case and how close you are to solving it. We're actually really close to exonerating the original uh, individual that was persecuted for this crime. Uh, his name was William Hirons. We uncovered a latent print that was on the door jam of the second victim, Miss Frances Brown which were able to track down the initial uh, paperwork and fingerprint and match that to a fingerprint that we have in the database that we've created. So we're about to release that in the next two to three weeks and we should be able to exonerate Mr. William Irons finally after 65 years of being incarcerated for a crime he did not commit. Wow, people submit cold cases to your team all the time. How do you decide which ones to cover? Uh, we've never denied anybody. Uh, we do our own funding. We have our own investors. We do not accept money from the victims' families, nor do we take money from uh, state or federal agencies. And a lot of these victims' families feel as though they aren't getting the attention they need, that they've hit a wall. You guys come in. What's been the response from families uh, that you're working with? Oh, it's been, uh, it's been great. They're very open to us. The agencies have opened their doors to us in some of these cases and had access to the files. And uh, we've been able to work with both sides. Alex, you have a unique skill set. I was reading a little bit about you, allowing you to piece together evidence that in many cases people would have missed or overlooked. Some people describe you as Sherlock. Uh, tell me about your background and what suits you for this type of work. Well, I, I used to be a PSO, Protective Service Officer, and I did diplomatic security detail. And then I, I was diagnosed with perceptionism as an early age of 12. Um, so my mind kind of is wired a little bit different than a typical individual. So when I look at, say, a letter or, you know, a code or a cipher uh, or anything in general, my, my mind tends to connect uh, things that other people do not see. Hmm. Your team also focusing on wrongful conviction investigations. How common is that? It's a little more common, I like to admit. Uh, there's a couple of cases we're working on currently, one being the Atlanta child murder case, that uh, I, I feel that we're close to uh, getting something done there also with uh, Wayne Williams. Mm. Really good work that you're doing. Please come back on uh, when you're close to the lipstick killer and solving that case. Uh, and any more that you're close to, um, we'd like to continue to cover it. And as I said, there are a lot of families out there who feel they aren't getting the help they need. So uh, kudos to you and your team. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Alex Baber with uh, Cold Case Consultants of America. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.